Hello everyone, welcome to the video on cytotoxic drug key points. In this video, I am going to explain about common adverse effects of all these cytotoxic drugs and certain key points to remember for all competitive examinations. This is my YouTube channel and recently the channel has crossed 70,000 views. Thank you viewers. If you like the video content, do subscribe. Now let us get into the topic. Now, there are three classes of cytotoxic drugs are there, alkylating agents, anti-metabolites, natural products. As the name indicates, these drugs are toxic to cell, hence they are known as cytotoxic drugs. Not all the cancer drugs are cytotoxic drugs. These three classes are known as cytotoxic drugs because they cause cytotoxicity. Now, when you see the cell cycle, all these drugs will be acting on certain phase of cell cycle. Like these anti-metabolites are S phase specific, whereas bleomycin is G2 phase specific, whereas plant products are M phase specific. Now when you see non-cell cycle specific alkylating agents, antibiotics and nitrosoureas are, they are not specific to cell cycle. Now all these drugs will be acting on rapidly dividing cell. Why in rapidly dividing cell all these phases will get affected by these drugs? Coming to these drugs, See, this is what is our normal chromosome is. That means it contains DNA and the DNA is surrounded by chromatid proteins. It is surrounded by chromatid proteins. Now, the job of chromatid protein is to bring stability to this DNA and that is what we call it as chromosome. So, whenever a cell is undergoing cell multiplication, then only this chromatid proteins will go away and a naked DNA appears. Now, if you remember, when you see the mechanism of action of all these drugs, especially these drugs, all of them, they go and bind with DNA. When this is possible, when during that replication, when chromatid proteins are removed, then only DNA get exposed and these drugs can go and bind with the DNA. So, that means these drugs are selective to the cell which is dividing. So, all these drugs, all, all these cytotoxic drugs will be effective against rapidly dividing cells. Either they will be acting on a specific cell, cy cell cycle phase or they will be directly acting on this DNA. Now, are these cancer, cancer cells are the only cells which are rapidly dividing? No. We have some other cells which are rapidly dividing. Example, hair cells. Our hair cells are rapidly dividing. That is the reason why all these drugs will inhibit hair cell multiplication and that is what results in alopecia. Alopecia means a kind of baldness. Why people lose hair when they take chemotherapy? Because chemotherapeutic drugs will be acting on rapidly dividing cells. Now not only this, you have oral mucosa is there. Our, our oral cavity mucus is also under continuous multiplication. So that mucosa will also be affected by chemotherapeutic agent. What happens with this? It results in mucositis. Itis means inflammation, mucosa, oral mucosal inflammation. See, one, see, oral hygiene is very important because that inflammation exposes blood cells and everything that may result in infection. So, oral hygiene is very important when people are taking chemotherapeutic drugs. Now, not only that, GI mucosa is also continuous multiplication. So, when these cells are the multiplication is inhibited, it results in severe nausea and emesis. See, nausea and emesis is also caused by certain drugs that will get into CNS and activate chemoreceptor trigger zone, a zone which is responsible for nausea and emesis. So, both of them are reasons. Some of the drugs will get into CNS and trigger that zone and some of the drugs will inhibit GI mucosal multiplication which results in severe nausea and emesis. Now, the most important one is bone marrow. In bone marrow, you have myeloid cells and myeloid cells are progenitor for all the blood cells. And bone marrow is under continuous multiplication. When this is inhibited, it results in myelosuppression. Now, myelosuppression has got a lot of adverse complications. Myelosuppression is also results in immunosuppression. Immunity is also get decreased. And this becomes a major problem in most of the chemotherapeutic drugs. Because, see, alopecia can be tolerable. Mucositis and GI mucosa eruption can also be controlled. But bone marrow suppression will result in immunosuppression which will, which will cause opportunistic infection effects. 
That means there are certain infections which will affect human body when immunity is reduced. They are called as opportunistic infections and the opportunistic infection effects will be very high when people are using chemotherapeutic agent because, because of myelosuppression. Moving further, there is one more major thing is there called as tumor lysis syndrome. See, this is what is normal cell is. Now, normal cell has got all this DNA is there and it has got ions inside there. Inside the cell you have potassium, inside the cell you have a lot of phosphates, even in DNA you have phosphates are there. Now, when we use anti-cancer drugs, the job is to break down DNA and kill the cell. When cell is killed, what happens to all these contents? All these con contents will be released into the blood, potassium, phosphate and from the DNA there is a major metabolite is there and that metabolite is uric acid. So, all these components will get released into the blood and in the blood these components levels increases and that is what results in a syndrome called as tumor lysis syndrome. If you see in the details, see increased levels of potassium rise is known as hyperkalemia. Now, hyperkalemia can show cardiotoxicity. Increased levels of potassium is harmful to heart functioning. So, it may result in cardiotoxicity. Now, when the DNA is released, it may break down to give purines and phosphate is also there. Now, purines finally will give uric acid. Now, this increased uric acid is what causes a kind of gout disease. So, some of the uh, uh, people who are taking anti-chemotherapeutic chemothera drugs will experience gout-like signs. That is because increased levels of uric acid. Now, whatever the phosphorus is released, it may combine with calcium and gives calcium phosphate precipitation. Now, this uric acid and calcium phosphate may cause nephron damage. That is what is called as nephropathy. Now, you can avoid this. How can you avoid this? By using an, a, a drug called as allopurinol, which will inhibit xanthine oxidase. With the help of this enzyme, uric acid is formed. If this enzyme is inhibited, uric acid will not form and the levels are reduced. Or, there is an enzyme called as rasburicase. It is nothing but a uricase, which will convert uric acid to allantoin. Now, the difference is allantoin is, it can easily get excreted through urine. Whereas, uric acid, it forms crystals. That is what results in gout-like problem. This is also known as hyperuricemia. Hyper means excess, ures, emia means in the blood. All these contents, potassium, uric acid, phosphoric, phosphorus, all of them will be relieved into, released into the blood. So, that is what this condition results in. See, look at this. The, the released phosphate combines with calcium and it becomes a precipitate. So, it decreases the levels of calcium. So, increases the levels of potassium, increases the levels of phosphorus in blood, but decreases the levels of calcium. Moving to the next, some other effects. Now, in gonads, oligospermia, impotency, ovulation decrease will be observed because all of them based on cell multiplication and all the multiplication is reduced. In fetal, in fetus, it may result in abortion, fetal death and teratogenicity. Abnormal, uh, abnormal conditions in fetal, fetus is known as teratogenicity. Now, some of the drugs can cause carcinogenicity and mutagenicity. The reason is there is a class known as alkylating agents. They will alkylate the DNA. When the DNA fragmentation is inhibited or this alkylation is carried to the next generation, that will cause a mutation. So, that is called as mutagenic property and if it results in cancer, it is known as carcinogenicity. Now, some of the drugs will cause thromboembolism, clotting problem, whereas plebitis means inflammation of vein. See, some of the drugs has got caustic properties. They are vesicant in nature. They will give burning sensation. If they are not administered properly, they will cause inflammation of vein. Now, all these common adverse effects will not appear immediately. It depends upon individual and the dose. And not all the effects are seen in every individual. It all depends upon dose and individual. Now, this is about common adverse effects of cytotoxic uh, neoplastic drugs. Now, there are certain key, uh, key cytotoxic drugs, key points are there. Now, when you see the first group is nitrogen mustard. Nitrogen mustards are known as bifunctional alkylating agents. All these are nitrogen mustards. The reason why they are called as bifunctional is, see the chloride comes out and this carbon is what forms a bond with DNA. Similarly, this chloride also goes away and this carbon forms a bond with DNA. So, it, two of the functional groups are forming bond with DNA, hence they are known as bifunctional. That is what is meant by, you can see all of them, they have got two, two chlorides. So, two alkyl chains can form a bond with DNA. So, they are known as bifunctional alkylating agents. Bifunctional alkylating agents will cause cytotoxicity. 
cell death. Now, when you see the drugs, this meclorithamine has got highest vesicant property. That means it has shown very high amounts of burning sensation. It causes a kind of burning sensation. Now, when you see this melphalan, it has got an amino acid alanine. In melphalan, alanine indicates alanine amino acid. Cyclophosphamide, ephosphamide are pro drugs. They need metabolic activation to release the active drug. Now, see, ephosphamide, cyclophosphamide, both of them will release a metabolite known as acrolein, and this acrolein will cause a condition known as hemorrhagic cystitis. The bladder inflammation which results in bleeding. Hemorrhagic means bleeding, cystitis means inflammation of bladder. And that is because of acrolein. This can be treated by using a drug called as mesna. You can see M stands for mercapto. SH is mercapto. E stands for ethyl group. S stands for sulfonate and NA is sodium. So this is mercapto ethyl sulfonate sodium. Now what happens is this mesna will combines with acrolein and reduces its toxicity. So this is cure to treat hemorrhagic cystitis. Usually these drugs are given along with mesna. This is an important point. Now the next class, nitrosoureas. You have carmastein, steptojotacin is also known as steptojocin, bendamastein. See, all of them are again bifunctional alkylating agents and they, are, they can cross blood-brain barrier. That means they can get into central nervous system. Hence they are used to treat brain tumors. Now, streptojotocin is a combination of nitrosourea plus a glucose molecule. This has got a uniqueness. It has got selectivity towards pancreas cell. When these drugs are used in animals, it has caused diabetes. Why diabetes? Because it has destroyed pancreatic cells and insulin levels are reduced and that is what resulted in diabetes. So, because it is reduced, it, it has got effects against pancreas, it can be used to treat pancreatic cancer. Now the other important thing, nitrosoureas can cause delayed neutropenia. Neutropenia means reduced in number. Neutrophils reduction in number is known as neutropenia. Moving to the next one. Now in anti-metabolite, one of the major drug is methotrexate. Now methotrexate is a very powerful immunosuppressant. It can be used to treat Crohn's disease. It can cause abortion. It is used to treat non-Hodgkin lymphoma and choriocarcinoma. It is also used to treat ectopic pregnancy and rheumatoid arthritis. All these are uses of methotrexate. Now, methotrexate, it has got highest amount of myelosuppression. That is what is major toxicity is. So, this toxicity of methotrexate in normal cells can be reduced by administering n 10 formyl tetrahydrofolic acid, which is also known as folinic acid or leucoverin or citrovorum factor. All these are folic acid derivatives which will be supplied along with methotrexate because methotrexate will, will causing severe myelosuppression. When myeloid cells are suppressed, severe immunosuppression occurs. To avoid that, a tetrahydrofolate derivative is supplied. Now, in extreme cases, when methotrexate toxicity, in extreme cases, methotrexate toxicity can be treated by either dialysis or administering an enzyme called as glucarpidase that cleaves methotrexate and immediately reduces the toxicity. So, these two are important things which will reduce methotrexate toxicity. Now, moving further, anthracyclines can cause cardiotoxicity. The reason why anthracyclines can cause cardiotoxicity is they will be releasing free radicals. So, these free radicals are selectively causing toxicity to cardiac cells. Hence, they are known as, they, they will cause cardiotoxicity. Now, this cardiotoxicity can be reduced by administering alpha tocopherol and dexragoxane. This dexragoxane is a free radical scavenger. Now, as I told you, most of the drugs will cause bone marrow, bone marrow suppression, but bone marrow is spared by vincristine bleomycin and L-asparginase. They are known as bone marrow sparing cytotoxic drugs. Now, you can see everything is put in one list. Cyclophosphamide. See, I have, I have given only the important one. Cyclophosphamide, bone marrow suppression, it causes hemorrhagic cystitis, which can be treated by mesna. Now, cisplatin, uh, uh, cisplatin has got highest amount of this nephrotoxicity and neurotoxicity. Remember this, because we have drugs like aminoglycoside. Aminoglycosides can also cause nephrotoxicity and neurotoxicity. Cisplatin has also got this adverse effect. Now, procarbazine, bone marrow suppression and leukemogenic. In fact, it is a methylating agent. It, it, it methylates the DNA which may, which may cause mutagenesis and results in carcinogenesis. Now, 
moving further now doxorubicin see we have already discussed it it will cause cardiotoxicity which can be treated by dexrajoxin methotrexate we have seen it bone marrow suppression leucoberrin rescue is used now 5 fluorouracil mercaptopurin antimetabolites the major problem is bone marrow suppression now bleomycin is a little bit different one bleomycin can cause pneumonitis and pulmonary fibrosis lung damage will be there with bleomycin now when christian vinblastin both of them will cause bone marrow suppression as well as neurotoxicity so these are all the important points related to uh, cytotoxic anti neoplastic drugs if you like the video content do subscribe thank you for watching this video